Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today we are getting ready, but we are getting ready with products. We are getting ready. We are getting ready with products that used to be holy grails of mine, products that I raved about and loved, but it's been a hot minute since I used them. So some of them, it's been a long time since I've used them. Others, maybe it's been six months that I haven't used it in a video or talked about it, but it was a very much a favorite. I don't even know if favorite actually justifies what these products were. They were more like kind of holy grail products that I was obsessed with, but you haven't seen in a while. So that's what we're gonna do today. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Lisa. I am a former makeup artist and a trainer for Matt Cosmo. Back in the day, I love teaching makeup. That is what I do here on my channel. So if you're into that, please subscribe. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I did already start applying a little bit of foundation. I'm using the it Cosmetics Your Skin But Better. I love this foundation. It is so good. And I know it's not that old of a product. Did it launch last year? Was it the year before? It was pretty recent. And I love this foundation. It is so such a good one. I do want my makeup to last all day. Um, has anyone ever said they don't want their makeup to last all day? <laughs> no, but I really need it to last all day because it is 1.45 p.m. My baby shower starts at four, and then after that, we're going to dinner with Paul's parents, and I probably won't be home until 10 o'clock. So I need makeup to last all day long. All right, so I just applied kind of a light layer of that. I'm gonna go in with my concealer, and this concealer I used to love and rave about, but I can't remember the last time I used it. It's the Fin Beauty Concealer. I have the shade 230. And what I really like about this concealer is I like the texture. It's, um, I hate to use the word thick when I'm describing a concealer because that doesn't sound like anything we really want, but it's thick without looking heavy or cakey. It gives great coverage. I like this color too. It really like brightens up my under eye. I'm just going to put a little bit here and then here, and then I'm gonna actually spread this with my um, BK Beauty sponge. I already got it all damp and ready to go. I think when I discovered the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Concealer, or Sublime Skin Fetish Concealer, whatever it is, that has been my go-to concealer. I think that's kind of what replaced this, to be honest, because I was using this up until I found my love for that one. This is very bright, so I have to blend it in well, and I cannot do use a foundation that's too dark because then it just looks very odd. This is not a concealer that I use when I want like real natural makeup, no makeup look. It's definitely one I lean on when I like, you know, want to look like I spent more than 10 minutes on my makeup, which I want to look like that tonight. Pretty. Okay. I'm going to have a little sip of my tea. Yummy. Oh, I want to share this with you guys. Well, it's all gone now, but this is a little honey spoon from Crate and Barrel. So it's like a little spoon shaped, like solid, hard honey. And you put it in your tea and then it just kind of, you know, sweetens your tea up. So good. I actually sometimes will like eat it like a lollipop. Like I'll just suck on it when I want something sweet, but I don't want, I don't have anything sweet in the house. I try not to keep chocolate or candy in the house because I, it would not survive. I have absolutely no willpower at all. So sometimes when I'm craving something sweet, like that's, <laughs> that's my option. And I'll just like suck on it like a lollipop. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my powder, which I do not have, just one sec. Let me put this hair, this, this side of my hair out or back so it doesn't get in the way. There we go. Okay, so for powder, I'm using the Co Kendo Natural Lighting Powder. That's what it's called. This is a really beautiful loose powder if you want a natural finish and you don't want it to look too matte or flat. It doesn't give a radiant finish, but it's right there in between. It really just gives a natural looking finish to the skin. It's very beautiful. It's definitely a luxury price point, but it really, they don't make a lot of makeup products, but I find what they do make is just good. So I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 104, and I'm gonna lightly set the center of the face. Here we go. It's like one of those powders that'll set your foundation without changing the finish of it too much. There we go. Perfect. Okay, for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer, and it hasn't been too long since I used this, um, but it has been a little while. I went, kind of went back to the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and then I've been using some NARS bronzers, but this is a wonderful, wonderful bronzer. I'm gonna use the same 104 brush. And I have the shade uh, Medium, too Medium. It's just a really silky powder. The texture reminds me similar to her Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Real silky, buildable. One tip to the 104 to use for bronzer is turn it upside down and use the side of it and it'll give a really soft, natural sweep of bronzer or blush color on the skin. Very pretty. And then use the tip of it, just the tip, 
and get into the hairline. And I'm gonna run a little bit on my nose cause why not? It's summer, I'm wearing a summery dress, this little eyelet dress, real cute. And I'm gonna run it on my jawline. I'm a little swollen in the face today. <laughs> So I need a little, little bit of definition. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera for time's sake. All right, you guys, for eyes, I'm using the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I think this was probably a favorite of all of ours, or most of us, when this launched. Was that last year or was that the year before? I have no good like a gauge of time, but um, it has been a hot minute since I used this palette. When it first came out, I raved about it, I loved it, and then, you know, what happens? A new palette comes out, a new palette comes out, and you just kind of forget to grab it. So I'm gonna go in here, and this is actually my second one because my first one I let someone borrow <laughs> and I haven't gotten it back, but it's not their fault. I just have yet to follow up and get it back. So I'm gonna go in with, we're gonna keep this uh, look kind of warm because it is a kind of a summery look. I'm gonna go in with the shade right here. It's called Blend. It's a really pretty matte transition shade. Got some warmth to it, and I'm just gonna kind of work this into the outer corner and crease. And you know what guys, we're gonna mix things up today. I feel like I kind of do such the same look on my channel all the time. Even though I mix up the colors a little bit, they're all pretty neutral and I do this, the placement is always the same, right? It's always like a matte in the outer corner, darker, and then a lighter in the inner corner. And the reason that I do that is because I feel that's the most complimentary for my eyes. I like myself that way. I like my eye makeup like that. Um, but today we're gonna go with more of a predominantly matte eye makeup. We will use some shimmer, but we won't have the whole lid shimmery. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking this color and I'm sweeping it into the crease, but then I'm also bringing it onto the lid. So I'm just using the side of the brush. For the crease, I use the tip. For the lid, I'm using the side. And because this brush is pretty big and fluffy, it is gonna apply the product really light and sheer, so I'm going and building up a bit. But that's what I want. I want a real like soft, airy look. I don't want it to look too packed on. Perfect. So I've been spending quite a bit of time on this one shade. I've only used one shade so far, but I've layered it and layered it and layered it to get the shade to pretty pretty much as deep as I think it's gonna get. Then I'm gonna go in and I'm going to um, place a little bit of a shimmer. We're gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Center Eyelid, this one right here. And we're gonna pop that just in the inner corner of the eye. And I'm gonna use the 207 because I do, again, wanna keep this very controlled, meaning I don't want too much shimmer all over. Just want a little bit. Okay, we might go back and add a little more to layer it, but I'm gonna go back in, and now I'm gonna take the same shade that I started with, but we're gonna take a brush that's a little more dense. Um, we're gonna take the, well, I shouldn't use the word dense, the 202. It is more dense than the 201, but it's still a blending and crease brush. So this is what we started with, but this is what I'm gonna go in now. So this is a little smaller, it's a little more compact, it has more of a tapered tip. So one, it's gonna pick up more product. Two, it's gonna give us a little more control. So I'm gonna use the side of it and I'm going to come in here and I'm basically gonna kind of bridge that gap. Sometimes we forget how beautiful like a matte eye look can be. You know, shimmer shadows, they catch our eye because they're so pretty and the shimmer's sparkly and it's like the shiny new thing. But gosh, matte eye makeup can look really beautiful. And it's really amazing to me how much variance can be in one matte shade depending on how many times you layer it and which brushes you use. Because what you'll see here is that in this look, it's gonna be a lot lighter and a little more warm, like a little, you can see more of that orange here in the inner corner because I'm keeping it really light. We're on the outer half where I really layered it and layered it. Um, it's darker and you see less of that orange. I mean, yes, you still see a warm brown shade, but you don't see um, as much as that orange as you do in the inner corner. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and line the eyes and I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon Eye Crayon in the shade Amber Haze. And it's a thick, chunky pencil. I'm not gonna be too worried about getting this liner perfect because I'm gonna go over this liner. This is just gonna work as a base, basically. It's gonna give that shadow something to stick to so it makes it more intense. Um, and it's also just gonna make it a little bit deeper. Then I'm gonna go in with the BK Beauty 204 and we're gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Smoke and it's this matte, kind of cool toned espresso-like color. And I'm gonna load the brush up and actually take that back. We're gonna use the shade Lash Line. It's darker. It's basically like a great liner color. And then we're gonna kind of tap it off just to make sure I don't have a, you know, a lot of shadow that's gonna fall off. And we're just gonna use the tip of that brush and 
kind of smoke and smudge that liner. Okay, so now we have a thick, dark line. It's a little messy, so what I wanna do is I wanna take my um, 203 brush, which is basically just like a good, flat kind of shader eyeshadow brush, just a, one of the basic brushes you use to apply your shadow, and I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna mix that first shade we did, and I'm gonna mix smoke, mix the two of them together, and I'm just gonna kinda layer this on top of that liner. This is basically just gonna make that liner not so, Hmm, what can I say? Where You can see where it stops. You know, you want it to be like this smoky, darkest at the root, but then slowly, gradually start to lighten up a bit. Okay, so last what I did was I added a little bit of the shade Brow Bone, which is this shimmery brow highlight here, and I added that um, underneath the brow bone. So we have most of the eyeshadow done on the upper lid. Actually, we have all of it done. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to tight line the eye. I'm gonna use this Smoky Emerald Color Chameleon Eye Crayon from... Charlotte Tilbury, and we're going to tight line the upper lid, perfect. And then I'm also gonna use the same pencil and we are going to line the lower lash line. We are gonna stop about halfway over, just for my eye shape. This liner is pretty dark and I don't want to close off my eye, so I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna work quickly and I'm gonna grab my 204 brush again. And we are gonna go, um, where is my 204 brush? <laughs> there it is. We're gonna wipe it off so I don't have too much of the dark shadow on it. And we're gonna go into this shade right here, outer eyelid, and we're going to smoke out that lower lash line. This is a really deep bronzy brown. It's deeper than like most lighter coppery bronzes you see. It's just so pretty, very smoky. Okay, now I do feel like things got a little too dark and thick down there, so I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge, use the tip of it, and kinda blend up. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and line the inner waterline with the Makeup by Mario eye brightener pencil. Perfect, love that face that you make. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes, apply a lash primer and mascara. Okay, so we have mascara, eyes are done. For blush, I had to pick up this little blush palette duo because for the longest time, this was all I used, but it, I can't remember the last time I used it. It's the Jouer Adore Blush Duo, and I have the shade Adore Me and Hold Me. So it has these two blush shades in it, and I would always use the um, deeper of the two. I'm gonna go ahead and use the 104 brush. I'm gonna pick it up on the tip. Just a really pretty peachy pink shade. It's matte. So it doesn't have any shimmer to it, but it does have a slight little sheen. Like it's not a real powdery matte. It's really pretty. Perfect. It's just one of those blushes that just you can rely on. <laughs> it looks good and it stays all day. For lips, I'm using the Marc Jacobs lipstick in Slow Burn. I used to be obsessed with Marc Jacobs lipsticks. I picked up a couple of them and um, this one I really loved. It's kind of your rosy nude pink, but it's a little bit deeper than I normally wear. Not much. I say that and you guys are going to laugh when you see me put it on because you're be like, that's not deep, but it's deeper than I normally wear. I love these lipsticks because they're so pigmented and they're not necessarily like real creamy, they're like a creamy matte. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh, I love that color. Oh, I love that color, so pretty. Okay, the last thing that I wanna do is I wanna take my um, 204 brush. Where are you? Where did you go? Here you are. And I'm gonna take the tip of it and I'm just gonna kinda run it on the inner corner where I have that shimmer shade. Because there's a stark contrast between that shimmer shade and the darker matte, I just want a little bit of a softer transition. You know, I don't want it to be like dot super shimmery and then a dark, darker matte. You need a little bit of a softer transition. There we go. So pretty. One more thing, I just had a thought. I was going to look for my, <laughs> sorry. I was going to look for my Hourglass strobe highlighter. Um, I cannot find it. I think it might be at the office. Um, now, the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette, I love. And I don't really highlight a lot, but when I do highlight, this is one that I use because it's just a soft, beautiful highlight without looking too intense. And I'm just gonna sweep a little bit on my cheekbones, on my temples. I try not to take it too far on my cheeks because I have large pores and shimmer or highlight can magnify that. There we go, really, really light. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do one last thing. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna take this highlight shade and we're gonna brighten that inner corner. Oh yeah, 
subtle little change, but uh, I love it. And this is the finished look. I am all ready to go. I will have all the products and shades listed and linked in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and getting ready with me. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys.